two of my favorite YouTubers have made a course on how to use Final Cut Pro and how to tell a story. Yes, we are talking about Casey Neistat and Peter Lindgren. And today I want to tell you which one you should buy, Peter Lindgren's PL Method or Casey Neistat's Film School. First of all, I want to say welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I would highly appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel, but watch the video first and then decide. All right, let's dive into PL method versus Casey Neistat's film school. The first thing I want to talk about is the structure of the courses. We are going to start with Peter Lindgren's PL method and when you're opening fcpx.academy, this is what you're looking at. If you have bought the course, you are logging in to my courses. And when you are coming into my courses, you can see that you have PL method course here. View online, you have also the option to download every episode. Peter has everything lined up in chapters. He has nine chapters here, plus editing breakdowns where he just put out his last video. In every chapter you have episodes and it's easy to go through everything and as you go you will also have this progress showing up on top of the screen. When you're going to studio.com and find Casey Neistat's film school, this is what you're getting. You are going into a curriculum and you are finding pre-class Part 1 Storytelling and Filmmaking Fundamentals and Part 2 where Casey is talking about Cinematography and Complete Toolkit. Every chapter has a bunch of episodes where Casey is talking about stuff and you are getting some things you have to do to get further into the course. You can also see on top here I'm at 71% because I didn't finish up by uploading my last video but you also have the progress percentage here. In my opinion, PL method has a better structure because it's more easy to find in the chapters what you're looking for. Even when you're finished with the course, you want to go back and see how Peter did something because you are stuck in your editing process. You can easily go back and find what you're looking for. In PL method, you're also getting tasks you can do if you want to, but it doesn't infect your progress. And that's good, in my opinion. The next thing I want to talk about is what's included in the course. And sadly for Casey, I have to say that beside the course, it's only something more included in PL method. On top of the page and FCPX Academy, you have the main course assets. When you're looking at the assets, you can see you have LUTs, commands, plugins, footage, Discord server, and projects. LUTs, here you have the vlog LUT from Peter. I have been using that for three months now, and I would highly recommend it for everyone using Sony with S-Log3 10-bit, because when I have shot something in S-Log3, I just put the vlog LUT on top, and this is how it looks without, and this is with Vloglet from Peter Lindgren. And you're also getting the base grade pack where you have, as Peter says for himself, it's a fantastic pack to help you achieve a more cinematic look on your videos. Commands is custom keys for Final Cut Pro. This is the commands or the custom keys that Peter is using for himself. I have downloaded it and I'm starting to get used to his commands and everything is good in my opinion. It's easy, things are going way faster when you're editing, when you have all these shortcuts in your keyboard, so I would highly recommend downloading this if PL method is the course you're getting. You're also getting five plugins from Motion VFX, it's M Cyber Peter, and the plugins is the ones I'm showing you here is that one who says you have to subscribe to my channel. It's this that says hit the like button if you like this video. And it's this one it says subscribe again. This one 
and this one circling around my face. <laughs> All right, you are getting more. We are going to the next one and this is footage. Here you can see you can download the files for Peter's tasks. It's really good. You can download the exact files he is using in the course so you can try for yourself. And that's pretty awesome in my opinion that you can download the exact files that Peter is using in the course. Peter has also made an exclusive Discord server where only members of the course can join and here you can post your work, you can post everything you want, you can ask questions and you can also tell Peter if there is something you want him to show in the course and he will make the video if it is something that many people would like to see. And at last you have projects, here you can download knife spin library and files, craftsmanship, the video where his father is in the workshop making the cup, library and files, his remote controlled car to RAM, library and files. So in my opinion you are getting very much high valued assets in Peter Lindgren's course to peel method. On Casey Neistat's film school on studio.com you are not getting any plugins, you're not getting any projects or files or LUTs or anything. But I have to mention that there is a peer group at Casey Neistat's film school so you can chat with other course members so you can get feedback and, and stuff like that. But I have to say at the discord server Peter is actually participating. Casey hasn't been interactive with the peer group, so as you can see, Casey is there, but he has never, as I have seen, chatted anything. So that's that's a big bonus for Peter. He is actually joining the Discord server so we can chat with him directly. When it comes to the price of these courses, the price are quite different, but you have to see what you're getting. Casey Neistat's film school costs $199 when shooting this video and Peter Lindgren's PL method costs 749 euros and there is also a light version for 158 euros but you have to know that there is no access to the project libraries, no access to motion VFX presets, no access to the discord server or no future updates. You're paying for what you're getting right now. That's one of the things that I really like about the Peter Lindgren Peel method. It's not finished yet. There will still be new episodes. So Casey Neistat's Film School, $199 Peel method, 749 euros. So to conclude, it's hard to tell which one you should buy because that's all about your preferences. Do you want to have more about storytelling or do you want to have more about editing? I really like to have them both and I really like to have the Peter Lindgren's Peel method because it's not finished yet. You never know what the next thing Peter is throwing out there. He is still making stuff that people on the Discord server wants him to make. So I would say that with everything you're getting on the PL method, with the interaction you can have with Peter on the Discord server and it's not finished yet, so you will have more episodes to come and you can download the files, you are getting the LUTs, you're getting the footage, you're getting that you're getting so much in this course from Peter that I would highly recommend this course. Some may think that this is expensive, but just take a look around the world to see how much a full course on Final Cut Pro is and then you can go back and you can check the price one more time because it's an investment. I hope you liked this video, I hope it was helpful and if you like this content I would love it if you would hit the thumbs up button right downside here. I would also like to see you as a subscriber on my channel. If you have any questions about any of the courses, please feel free to comment down below and I will try to answer as good as I can. Alright, it's almost 12 o'clock, I need to go to bed, I'm tired. Thank you for watching, hope to see you in the next one, bye.